Today, we are introducing an exciting update to the Journal of Clinical Microbiology. We are adding a new section called Innovative Diagnostic Methods. I'm Alex McAdam, the Editor-in-Chief of JCM, and I'm joined by Dr. Trish Simner. Dr. Simner is an editor of JCM, and we work together to develop this new section. So Trish, thanks for coming. Thanks for having me, Alex. And tell us what will make a good paper for the Innovative Diagnostic Methods section. Yeah, that's a great question, Alex. Uh, So we work closely with the other editors as well as with yourself to try to um, devise what would be a a good paper for the innovative diagnostics method. And so we decided that they should be papers that demonstrate and highlight new or updated methods that have the potential to improve existing diagnostics that are currently used in clinical and public health laboratories. These improvements can benefit patient care by improved performance characteristics, such as improved sensitivity or specificity, reduced turnaround time. Alternatively, they may be benefits to the clinical laboratory by reducing costs or labors for a particular test. So I like everything I'm hearing, but my question would be, that sounds a lot like a JCM paper. So what is different about these papers? That's an important distinction here, Alex. And so these publications will be different from other papers in that they will not require the full clinical validation or analytical optimization that is normally expected for JCM papers. If clinical validation or optimization are available, they can definitely be included. But the emphasis here on these papers are papers that um, are on the development of innovative methods that are novel or significant variations of existing methods. So to me, this new section allows JCM to be on the cutting edge without requiring the more stringent requirements or extensive validation that we have for other papers. So it'll allow our JCM readers uh, to understand the near future diagnostics coming down the pipeline or how they can adapt current diagnostics in use to be beneficial to either the laboratory or patient care. Got it. So give us some examples of topics that might be in in these papers. Yeah, so we were discussing it could be either new or updated methods. So let's focus first on new methods. So as a bacteriology editor for JCM, I oversee a lot of AST method papers. So new antimicrobial susceptibility testing methods. These could either be rapid phenotypic methods that can uh, detect growth more rapidly than standard methods or uh, predictive genomic uh, methods that you can use rapid whole genome sequencing with predictive AST would be an example of a new method. Another example would be a new biomarker, let's say some sort of gene expression profiling, whether that be for the microorganism or the host response to an infection to improve um, on diagnostics to uh, to detect infectious diseases. On the flip side, we're also accepting updated methods. So those were examples of kind of new methods that can be considered. So updated Mm -hmm. methods would be methods that are currently available in clinical labs that can be tweaked for uh, one reason or another. Some examples would be you're uh, adapting a method for a different specimen type or adapting uh, a new uh, method for a new purpose or to be less resource intensive in the laboratory. So some hypothetical examples would be, let's say you have a rapid diagnostic for antimicrobial resistance in your lab and use that currently for cultured isolates, but you have adapted that method and validated it uh, for use for, let's say, positive blood cultures. Alternatively, it could be that you're using an instrumentation in your laboratory that you've adapted for another reason. So let's say Maldi-Toff mass spectrometry. You've devised a novel extraction method that might reduce the number of bacteria or number of organisms requiring to go to 16S RNA sequencing for further ID. Or you're further exploiting that technology uh, for strain typing rather just for um, identification are some potential new, these are kind of examples of potential new or updated methods that could be submitted to this section. Perfect. I am really excited about this. I think this is going to move the field forward in important directions. It is an expansion of the scope of JCM. Um, We will now be featuring these innovative methods and diagnostic testings that have potential. Potential is the key word here, to improve patient care or laboratory operations even if the utility or the performance of the method hasn't been completely explored. These papers will be in a separate section of the table of contents. Authors can select the category during the routine submission process. As I said, this is an exciting change. 
And I hope everyone who is listening or watching will go to asm.org slash JCM to submit their cutting edge manuscript for this new section of JCM. Thanks for joining me, Trish. Thanks, Alex. Looking forward to the submissions.